know today's the end of civilization as we know it, don't we? <laughs> Sorry, what are you on about? Well, it's auction day and Chris Dates buying all the farms. Just think you should at least see a doctor. I told you I'm fine. Flag your neck, what's happened to you? Nothing, a misunderstanding. Between you and whose fist? No, dear, an accident. An accident? Leave it, will you? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Ray, let's get some breakfast down at the diner. Mm. Sure you're all right? How many times? I've never felt better. So, I'm fine, really. Marlon, this is mad. You should go to the police. No. You could have ended up in hospital. Look at the state of you. You're all right, mate. I said no. This is between me and my family. Is there something wrong with my cooking? No, Betty. I'm just not hungry, that's all. There's just one thing I want to know. What? What was you up to last night? I had your supper waiting on the table and you never turned up. No, I oh. won't over to anything. You clumsy clumsy! I'm sorry, Betty, oh, I'm sorry. It. Leave it, you'll only make it worse. I'm sorry, Betty, I'm sorry. <sighs> Look, hang on. What's up with him? Where the hell have you been? I'm starved. I talk Jack for the news. Sometimes I think you think more of him than you do of me. I don't. Good. Jack's all right. Yeah, but he's not your dad, though, is he? I want you to go down the Windsors and find out if they're going to be away over the holidays. Why? Because I was thinking of popping down there and wishing them a Merry Christmas. Oh, you're not going to do anything stupid, are you? You said there's stacks of cash in that post office. I know, but... Yeah, well, I'm going to liberate some of it. Oh, you can. I can if the Windsors are away. What's your problem? Christmas is a time of giving and receiving. Well, Donna's my friend. Yeah, and I'm your dad. So do as you're told. Go down there and find out if they're going to be away. Look, it's the last thing I'll ask you to do for me. I promise. And then we're out of here. Oh, what time do you call this? Sorry. Marlon, what's happened to you? Nothing. I had an argument with the doorpost. It must have been a blooming big doorpost. It's not as bad as it looks. Marlon! You're wasting your time. So whoever's done that to him, he doesn't want us to know. Yeah, thanks a lot. Monday, can I have a word with you? Please, Monday. I've got to speak to someone. It's driving me mad. What is? I don't know how it happened. I never meant to do it. Do what? It's just it's none of his business, is it, what's going on between you and me? But you're not making any sense. And next thing I know, I, I was just hitting him. Who? I never meant to hurt him. Hurt who? Marlon. Oh. I'll tell him I never meant it, Mandy. Tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> Will you stop doing that? Huh. Sounding so blooming cheerful, you make me nervous. <laughs> why? Because it sounds like you're up to something, that's why. And what's the big occasion, anyway? Ah, my lips are sealed for the moment. But don't worry, Betty, you'll know soon enough. Wait, what's he like? Getting the nerves? Where's Marlon? He's in the kitchen, why? Marlon. What's you told me? Oh, Marlon. I'm sorry. So am I. First time I talked to a dingling once and this happens. I would never have involved you. I didn't think... You never do! I just fancied you for years, Mandy. For years! But you still married him. He knew it wasn't a proper marriage. Did you really think he'd believe that? You know, but... His cheerful optimism is his one redeeming feature. I'll kill him when I see him. Yeah, right, yeah. Cut out the discussion, yeah? Just batter him. You're as bad as he is. No, you're not. You're worse. My lord. Bush doesn't know what he's doing half the time, but you did. You married him. You let him have his little fantasy. That's not true. This, this is your fault. Just as much as his. 40 schools across Bradford have a specially trained reading This is so teacher, boring. Project coordinator for the... So, come on. Is this still here? Who? Your dad. Shh. Well? 
Yeah. So why don't you go up there? No way. It's a secret. Well, just forget it, will you? So what are you getting for Christmas? Don't know. Something scuzzy from the market, probably. What about you? Don't know. I hate Christmas. It's dead boring round here. So you're not going away, then? No. Oh, great. Why? Do you want to come round here and join in the arguments? Cos that's all this lot ever do. Sounds a laugh. Oh, yeah, great. The only difference this year is we'll be in the wool pack. You what? We're having dinner with Anne and Tricia. I'm telling you, I'm really dreading Christmas this year. So am I. Well, I didn't think you were coming. Miss your moment of glory. Wouldn't dare. Don't get your hopes up. You haven't bought the place yet. How much is Home Farm worth? About two million. How much have I got? A three million, as you never cease reminding me. Just hope it's worth it. Oh, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll all take your seats, we'll begin the proceedings. We have Home Farm Estates, a Grade 2 listed Victorian mansion standing in extensive grounds with a tennis court, an ornamental pond and stables. The estate includes 65 acres of mixed arable and rough This time tomorrow land, after start calling me sir. Acre shoot I and so. various Shh. small holdings. Bidding started. Starting off then at £1,500,000 for this exceptional property. One million six hundred thousand. Looks like it's between me and her. Seven hundred thousand. Can't quite believe this is happening. One million eight hundred. No, oh, neither can I. I think of better ways of spending two million pounds. Nine hundred thousand. I can't. Wanted home farm for a very long time, and this time I'm going to get it. Two million. I wonder what two million pounds actually looks like. Do I hear two million one hundred thousand? At this rate, you're not going to find out, unless he's planning to pay cash. Two million one hundred thousand pounds. I will pay whatever it takes. Can anybody give me two million one hundred thousand? There we are. Over in minutes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Do I hear two million three hundred thousand? What the hell is he doing? Two million four hundred thousand. This is ridiculous. Home farm isn't worth that much. It is to me. Thank you, sir. Do I hear two million five hundred thousand? What's he playing at? He hasn't got that sort of money. Neither do you. That place costs a fortune to run. I've got one. He hasn't. Two million six hundred thousand pounds. You won't have one if you pay that. I don't care. Chris, it costs thousands just to keep the place ticking over. You'll bankrupt yourself. For the second time, two million six hundred thousand. Two million seven hundred thousand. He's the one trying to bankrupt me with his stupid games. He isn't going to. This is a farce. That man is doing this to get to me. I know him. He hasn't got any money. Mr. Tate, if you'd please let us continue. Eric Pollard is a small-time antique dealer. Have you checked his credit rating? <clears throat> Have you checked his credit rating? He's a petty crook. I'm telling you, if he's got the money, it's stolen. So get rid of him. Mr. Pollard is acting as an authorised proxy. Now, either you calm down or I shall be forced to ask you to leave. We need to talk. Huh? It's about our butch. Oi! What do you want for Christmas, my love? Leave it, Uncle Zack. How about a nice set of cutlery for all backstabbing your day? What was that, Zack? Oh, I said. Oh, Marlon! What's up, lad? Lynn, not like your cookie. Oh, it won't Lynn. Was it Mandy? You what? It was Butch. Butch did that to you! You're lucky I'm not going to the police. I don't believe you. It's true. Oh, Marlon, I'm sorry. If there's anything we can do to help. It's not me who needs help. 
It's Butch. Hey. You bought a persona. You bought up an animal. The stupid idiot. Right, that's it. Is that where you're going? I'm going to see Butch. He needs sorted. Back! Ladies and gentlemen, please calm down. Let's get back to the bidding, shall we? Currently with Mr Pollard at 2,700,000. Do I hear 2,800,000? Chris, this has gone too far, whatever Eric's up to. I'm not going to lose Home Farm. For the second time, £2,800,000. You can't afford it. I'll sell off the land. Chris, there's nothing left. Tara got rid of everything worth selling. Do I hear £2,900,000? Do I have three million? Think what you're doing. You'll have nothing left if you pay that much. I'll have nothing left if I don't. I have three million pounds. You're insane. Do I have three million one hundred thousand? <laughs> Eric's not gonna stop. Thank you, sir. Three million two hundred thousand. Neither am I. Chris, you don't have that amount. Will have you come in with it? Second time, three million two hundred thousand. No. You know how much this means to me. I'm not going to help you ruin your life. But we'll be partners, just like Dad wanted. Mr. Tate, it's your bid now at three million two hundred thousand. Oh, Chris. Three million three hundred thousand. Do I hear? I've got him. Mr. Pollard, it's with you now at three million three hundred thousand pounds. Thank you, sir. Mr. Tate, do I have three million four hundred thousand? Please, as alone. I can't. It's my home. For the second time, three million four hundred thousand. It's not worth it. I have three million three hundred thousand going once. I'm begging you. I'm sorry. Going twice. Please. Sold. To Mr. Pollard for three million three hundred thousand. Congratulations, sir. Zach, you'll only make things worse. Wait, I want a word with you. Dad, you're the flaming animal. Dad, please. Leave him alone. <laughs> you don't like it. Now that he's Marlow. That's enough. So help me, Zach, if you touch him, I will never forgive you. Never. You saw what he did to Marlow. It was an accident. An accident? What? What happened? Did your fist slip? No. Can you think you're gonna belt him? You're as bad as him. It's what it is. Look at you! No wonder he used his fists. Where do you think he learned it from? It's the only language either of you know. If you start this now, Zach, you'll never stop. You'll end up killing each other. Let him go, Zach. I am asking you, please. You should never have touched Marlon. I'm sorry, Dad. Why, oh, yeah, you will be. Look, blaming Butch won't make things any better. This whole marriage to Mandy, this falling out with Marlon, Zach has broken us apart. Zach, we've lost sight of what's important about being a family. All I've ever tried to do is keep us together. I know. Zach, you're, you're the head of this family. They look to you. You could make it better if you'd only try. What do you want me to do? Talk to him. He's your son. What the hell do you think you're doing? 
buying home farms. So who is it? Who are you bidding for? Mr. Tate. You stay out of this. I'm warning you if this is some kind of sick joke. I hope that that isn't a threat. Well, if you don't mind, there is somebody I wish to call. Let them know the good news. You can't do this. <laughs> Watch me. Oh, there is one other thing. My client will want you to move out of Home Farm by the end of January. What? Hmm. Happy Christmas. <sighs> so, I'm sorry, Dad. It's all my. No, Dad. It's all my fault. Is this? Oh, I can't explain it. I can't talk about my feelings like everybody else. I don't know how. Happening isn't easy for any of us. And when I try, well, it all comes out wrong. I'll just make an idiot of myself, and then I get annoyed with myself, and then... I don't know. I just lose it. I didn't mean to work our mile on, you know. You can change. No. Whatever I do, it'll always be wrong. It won't. Lisa's right. I haven't been a very good example. Sometimes we forget the right way to go about things. It... You made a mistake, but you can put it right. Christmas is coming, isn't it? Time for forgiveness. And the family. I want you to come home. Hey, for your dad. Donna? Shh. She'll hear you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, Dad. You left the shop keys in the stock cupboard. Oh, I'll stick them in the drawer, will you? See ya. See you. You still here? Mrs. Windsor. Can Whatever I... it is, the answer's no. What's this? I want to get my savings out. Shh. How much? All of it. There's over 50 quid in here. What are you up to? I want to buy Jack and Sarah some Christmas presents. Ah. Oh. Well, it's nice to know some kids appreciate their parents. You couldn't expect Zoe to give you that money. Oh, shut up! If you hadn't suggested an auction, none of this would have happened. You know Home Farm isn't worth that much. Whoever bought it paid well over the odds. It was worth it to me! Oh, Chris, it's a house, that's all. A collection of rooms. It doesn't mean anything. It was Dad's home. My home. It's all he ever left me. So what? You can't bring him back. Just let it go. You never understood, did you? You were Daddy's little girl. Couldn't put a foot wrong. He even forgave you for being a lesbian. Chris! Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not staying here to listen to this. Fine, go on, get out. Run home and play with your pets. Do you want to know the truth? I'm glad it's gone. This place ruined my family and it's ruined you. Oh, just get out. Well, you heard me. Go on, get out! I don't need you! I knew you were up to something, all that talk about having no money, eh? It's difficult. People can be very jealous about it. I just didn't want anybody to know. <laughs> well, they don't know. <laughs> Thank you. What for? Helping me. You didn't have to do it. It's what friends are for, isn't it? Yes. And I'd like to hope that you think of me as a friend. Well, of course I do. Oh, do you know, this is the first home I've ever owned. Uh, surely with your resources. 
My husband always looked after the money because our house was in his name. Oh. Yeah. What did you do? Your husband? He was in finance. Oh. Oh, well, he must have been very good at it. Three million pounds is quite a sum for a starter home. <laughs> yes. Sorry. You shouldn't have asked. Oh, no, 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 not at all. That's all in the past now. I'm going to look forward to the future. <laughs> it's time I started enjoying myself. Yeah, well, owning home farm, I'm sure you will. <laughs> Here's to the future. And to new friendships. New friendships. Mal one reckons it's all my fault. Oh, of course it's not. We should never have let you and Butch get wed. Thanks to me, mal has been beaten black and blue, Paddy hates me, and Butch has gone off his rocker. Now this whole family's just fallen apart. Ankle Zack! I was about going nicking us some mistletoe. What the hell is he doing here? He's moving back in. You are joking. Hey, Mandy, what did we just say? You can't expect me to stay under the same roof as him. I told you it won't work, Dad. Look, there's no to worry about. I've sorted it. Butch has learned his lesson. Haven't you, lad? Yeah. Look, Mandy. I'm sorry. And I promise I won't bother you anymore. Dead right you won't, cos you're not stopping here. Mandy, can't you at least try? After everything he's done, no! It's all right. I don't mind, Dad. I'll go back to Betty's. No! Now, listen to me, Mandy. I've talked to Butch. He knows he's done wrong. And you believe that? Yes. Well, more fool you! Butch is staying. That's my last word. Oh. I'm sick of all this arguing. Now, from now on, we're going to start behaving like a family again. Yeah? And we're going to have an happy Christmas. So help me if it's the last thing I do. Good lad. You see? You do love me. Yeah. Dad. What? Donna said you're not going away. Oh, damn. But it don't matter. You don't have to run the post office. I got you this. Oh, you little star. You do take after me. I didn't make it. That's my savings. 50 quid? I can get you a bit more. We're going to need more than 50 quid if we're going to get out of here. But you can't run the post office. They'll catch you. They're going to catch me anyway. Oh, flaming hell. And the winter has got some sick relatives they should be visiting. Not around here. The only people they're seeing is Alan Turner on Christmas Day. You are? The Woolpack have got a Christmas dinner. Don't ask me if I want it to go, but... But you're not. You're coming with me. I don't understand. That's perfect. While they're around the Woolpack popping crackers, we'll be popping a safe. Oh, no, Dad, you can! Watch me. You want a Merry Christmas? We robbed the post office Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs>